I remember I would have full out panic attacks on a regular basis and I didn't know what they were. I relied on alcohol to just shut it out, shut off my mind and kind of push through it. It was just an ongoing cycle and it was very difficult for me to turn it all off. Then when that wall came crumbling down and I, I could no longer hide it anymore, I was done. That's when I met my sponsor. He was a marathon runner and he started triathlon. And I was like, oh, and Ken, do you think that I could learn how to do a triathlon? Could I learn how to swim? Because I could do the other two. And he was like, yeah, 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 the swimming part, you can learn that in no time. And that's where it all started. That one time of the year where you're just gonna go do this thing that nobody's ever done, and you're gonna just try and figure it out. Time to get a little salty. Right now, a Jamestown man is swimming 25 miles from Fields Point, Providence, to the Jamestown Public Docks, all to bring attention to and to raise money for a Rhode Island environmental nonprofit. It is one big journey, as cliche as that might sound, but you have to find something else to fill the void, I think, that you were trying to fill with alcohol. We got an update. So there really isn't much more calm near shore. It's just gonna get harder and harder for me to get in. It's super important for him to stay hydrated. If you lose 2% of your body weight, you can see a decrease in cognitive and sports performance up to 10% or even more. It's not for Ben, it's not for me or for you. I'm part of this crazy thing that's also helping clean oceans. It's just unbelievable that he's able to go for this long. I'm almost a little emotional. He's been working towards this for so long. It's just amazing to watch someone who's gone through so much finish something they've been working so hard to accomplish. You can't help but be proud.